Hello, I'm Jose with Free Sky North America. In today's video, we're going to expand upon the basic trainer setup that we did in a previous video. Originally, you would have your, this is your master radio, and you would have your trainer switch. You'd hold it up so that the student can take over, and then you release that, that switch, and then now you take over and you have control. Now, if you take a look at my outputs, you can see that right now I have control. So with this setup, if you hold or if you tap the switch, the trainer has control. You don't have to hold down that, that switch anymore. You just tap it once. And when you want to take over, all you do is touch your sticks and now you have control. I like the setup because you, don't, you no longer have to hold the switch in the up position until you want to take control. It just makes things a little bit easier. And now it's very easy to take over. So no control over here. Flip the switch. Student has control. And as soon as I touch a stick, I have control. All right, so the next thing that we'll do is show you how to set this up. All right, so I'm assuming that you have your trainer set up, already set up. So the Bluetooth has been set up between this radio and this radio. This radio has been set in the trainer mode to the master. This one has been set to slave, um, and that's all set up. And if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and watch the previous video on a basic trainer setup to do that. So what I need to do is to create a switch that will activate as soon as I touch the stick. So I'll probably do aileron, elevator, rudder, and not throttle. So that way I can just leave throttle wherever I want to leave it. To do that, let's return out of this menu and let's go to the top so you can see where I'm doing. If I go model, scroll over to logic switches, then I create a logic switch. So a logic switch, if you guys aren't familiar with it, is just a switch, a virtual switch inside there based on certain factors. And the factors is essentially the function over here. So we're going to make a switch that when I move the rudder, then it will go ahead and turn on the switch. And if you see over there, the LS1, so right now the function is A is around X and source is rudder and value is zero. So another zero is the center position. Once you move off of the center position, notice that the switch turns from green to red. Red means off, green means the switch is on. So we're gonna create a logic switch that will sense the movement of this. So I'm going to go ahead and name this logic switch. Let's go ahead and name it RUDSW for rudder switch. The function is the first function. So what that means, what that squiggly, so A, squiggly line, X, what the squiggly line means is around. So when it's close to, when the rudder is close to value zero, the zero position, which is a center position, then trigger the switch. So what I want is that, and I want to choose rudder, which it already is, but if it's not, you just click on that and move the rudder switch or move whatever switch you want or whatever stick that you want. So I'm going to choose rudder and then hit return to get out of it. And then now the value is zero, but I want it to be the opposite way. So right now it triggers on when I'm in a zero position and it triggers off when I'm off of that zero position. So what I want to do is I want to invert it. The next thing that I need to do is here at rudder, hit and hold down and choose ignore trainer input. So in other words, it will not, it will not care about the rudder stick position um, on the trainer radio. It only cares about it on the master radio. So now if I take a look, that red light's on, so in other words, it is off. It gets triggered as soon as I touch the stick. And then when I go back to center, it'll go back to zero. So that's the rudder switch. I'm gonna hit return to get out of that. Now I wanna make one for aileron and I wanna make one for elevator. So since that switch is there, I'll just go ahead and clone it. And then on the new switch that I created, hit enter and then go to edit. And now I'll change the name of it. I hit enter once I'm highlighted on it. I'll use the center button to delete, 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 and add, say, elevator. 
So Ella switch, perfect. And the source is no longer rudder, it is now elevator. So I move the elevator stick once, I've, once I'm in it, hit return to get out of it. And the same thing, I want to make sure that I ignore trainer input. So I hit and hold down, ignore trainer input, make sure that's collect, um, clicked, and we are set. So we can just double check it. As soon as I move it, it activates. Perfect. So I returned to get out of it, go back to the logic switch menu, scroll down and clone it, and then modify it. Edit. Make this one aileron, so A, I, L. Same thing as inverted, that is the function I want. And over here, instead of elevator, I click on it and choose aileron. So I just move the aileron, there it is. Same thing, hit and hold down, ignore trainer input. Return, return, return. Now we're back to the logic switch menu. Now, essentially, I want the switch to trigger when any of these ones happen. So when the aileron is moved or the elevator is moved or the rudder is moved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compi combine. So what I'm going to do is combine them all to one switch. So I'm going to add a new switch. And the f this is going to be, I'll call this any stick. Oops. Return to get out of it. The function that I want is or, O-R. That's usually at the bottom of the list. There it is, or. And value one, I'm going to go to category. So I scroll over to category, hit enter, and go to logic switch. And it's going to be the rudder switch. That's fine. Value two, logic switch. Elevator, value three, click on it again, and then choose logic switch, and that's going to be aileron. So now this trick, look at logical switch four up top where it's red, will turn on if I move any stick. There it is, perfect. Return to get out of that a couple times. Back to the logic switch menu. And now I want to create my trainer switch. So in other words, before it used to be just this switch on and off. Now I'm going to make that switch turn on the trainer mode and make the any stick logic switch turn off the trainer mode. So I'm going to add a new logic switch. And the function that I want is sticky. What sticky means is notice that this button over here is a momentary switch. If I trigger that once where it just triggers on and off, it'll remain on until the off condition happens, which is going to be the um, uh, any stick. So sticky will essentially leave it on until an off condition happens. So since this is a momentary switch, right, the trigger on condition, I want the trainer to be enabled when I flip that switch up. I'll go ahead and click this. Hold this switch up. When I hold it, notice it says SH down. When I release it, it says SH up. So make sure that you're holding it down and then return to get out of it. And notice it still says down. And you'll see that it highlights too when I press the switch. So now it'll trigger on. And then now I need to trigger off. And to trigger off, I want the trainer mode to disengage when I move any stick. And that is that any stick logic switch that we created. So let's take a look at this right now. Right now, if you look, LS5 is on. So this logical switch is on. If I move a stick, boom, turns off. Bring it on, move another stick, turns off. Perfect. So now, oh, I forgot to label it. Let's go ahead and label this one. I'm going to call it train or switch sw so now i have 
everything set for this. The only thing I got to do is make my trainer switch this logical switch trainer switch. So I'm going to go return out of this, go into the trainer mode, and trainer mode has already been preset up. And I'll scroll down here and make the active condition logic switch, and then go to member trainer switch. Done. So let's take a look. I give control to the uh, student and then I take control back. So let's go to the outputs and see that work. Go to outputs. I have control flying the plane. I hit the trainer. Student has control. And as soon as I touch a, a stick, see that? I have control. And that is it. Very basic, very easy, and it works very well. Thank you guys. That's it. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave a comment in this video. Or if it's um, a little bit more long-winded or if you need something more complex, uh, go ahead and email me at jose, J-O-S-E, at freesky-rc.com. Thank you very much, guys, and have a good day.